It's a beautiful day in Big Fork, Montana, and we're getting ready to go to Glacier National Park for three days and two nights. So all we have to do now is just wait for Pat and Paul. Just a little excited, honey? You got your stuff all lined up? Yeah, it's funny. Here we're at a baby little tiny channel, and I'm finding that we have the same issues as the big channels where it's real easy to remember your underwear and your socks but something as simple as if you're switching cameras back and forth sometimes you need different cords otherwise things don't work so I was scrambling last minute mm. to make sure I had both cords um, we're uh, of course eventually going to the going to the sun highway uh, not today. Today we're actually positioning over on the east side and I don't know if Sue had explained that uh, Glacier National Park probably like a lot of the national parks this year is so freaking busy that they have a quota system to get in in addition to your national park pass that you need. You need this cheap little two dollar ticket to get in but it's through a lottery and all the tickets are sold out for the end of the year except two days prior to the entrance there's like 375 tickets available they're gone literally three to four minutes then the next day two days prior and good for a week is another 375 tickets you have to go online try to get it mad you know 8, 8 a.m uh, on it right away. Yeah, it's 8 a.m. Mountain Time, and literally, I'm telling you, in four minutes they're gone. So, if you're in a desperate need last minute, or you don't know that you need these tickets, you want to get online and have about four or five of your friends trying to get tickets at the same time. They're only two dollars. It's good for the whole car, and it's good for seven days. Um, but we didn't want to count on that because that happened only a few days prior to us being here. So many, many weeks prior, we literally booked hotel rooms. In Glacier that's how desperate we were to actually see Glacier this is probably the third time we've driven by this park and we would not have gotten in so that was uh, that was it we we're gonna make sure we're doing it so it's actually a different experience we're experiencing what it's like not to be RVing and traveling uh, you know like to a bed and breakfast or whatever it's freaking awful <laughs> we like driving our house to where we're going to be, parking it over there and go doing what we want to do over there. But we can't do that here, so uh, it's a new experience for us. Sounds like our ride is coming. Oh my gosh, yeah. we've got good years. Yeah, well it's the four-cylinder Jeep that uh, is a dead giveaway. There it is! Yeah. Look with at this. The garbage. Got his garbage. <laughs> retreat because we forgot something. How many of you have had this happen? It's not our fault. Yeah. It's their fault. It's their fault. It's, it's their, their fault. fault. <laughs> it's both our fault. So a fun day ahead. We are actually going to, we're in Big Fork, Montana and we're heading into the um, Glacier National Park and Pat and Paul are, are joining us. Actually we're hitching the ride with them and we're actually going to be staying at um, Let's see, a lodge on the east side tonight, and then we'll do a cabin on the west side. But true to form, when we leave, we always forget things. So as we're uh, driving out, Paul said, hey, Pat, did we put the awnings in? And she's like, nope. So we had to go back. And then I looked at my shirt and realized I just spilled some coffee on me. So I thought, well, okay, we're back. I'm going to uh, rinse my shirt off, get rid of the coffee. But then also, Mark decided we're going to lock up our uh, electric stuff. So while he does that, I will go and rinse my shirt off. 
coffee stains gone. So now I think we're ready to go. We always end up going back into the rig, like usually minimum three times. I think the worst one was 10 times because we kept forgetting things. So let's go through the check. Coffee stains, clean. It's a wiki shirt, so I figured eh, I'm just gonna put it back on. Water pump, off. Lights off. And now, retrieve husband. Mark, come on, let's go. Okay, I'm coming, Sue. Woo! Oh man, I showed our messy place again. <laughs> Everything's it. locked up. Check. Well, Sue, I see you're all <laughs> set because you've got your shirt uh, yeah, all cleaned off. Be clean, except Mark locked. Oh. Uh, oh. For, my coffee. Don't bring the coffee. You're going to spill it on yourself again. Okay. I think I left it on the car boat, but we're good. Okay. okay. We're, we're doing a checklist now. Do you have your awnings up? Yes, they're up. Awnings up. Check. We're good. Let's go. <laughs> and I went to the men's restroom just to make sure. Figured I bought us another 22 minutes. <laughs> oh my God. All right. We're really leaving now. Right. This is it. We're really leaving. Glacier National Park, here we come. <laughs> Two months ago, Pat was trying to get an entry ticket to going to the Sun Road, but they were sold out. And we didn't want to take a chance getting one online only two days before. So our next plan was to get reservations at a lodge inside the park. Uh, now this is here because they're doing construction. They're doing construction, so yeah, they're letting one-way traffic. Yeah, so, so they've got this cute little um, portable. But they also got a guy standing there. Some of these places, they yeah. just have this. And, yeah. Well, I don't know about you, but we always find it really interesting to see how construction happens on these really remote roads, yet very busy roads. And they just keep the traffic moving. Amazing. Well, they're working on this side. Yeah. They're, they're, but, they're, they're putting stuff here. Yeah, and this is a major artery. Highway yeah. 2 is the northern route to cross from... Highway 2 goes all the way from... Uh, big vibrator. He's going, yeah. I love my vibrator. Okay. Here what they're doing is tearing up what's there reprocessing it on the go and dumping it back down again wow. and, and just relaying it. Wow. That is quite an operation. That's the oil truck, I think, that's mixing the fresh oil with it to get it to... Uh, this outfit's grinding up the old stuff. So literally, as they're driving, they're consuming the old road and depositing the new road. Yeah, well, they're using this material yeah. over, but they're they're putting new glue in the mix, if you will. Wow. So here's the red bus in front of us here, and that's how we were going to go through the park. For Paul offered to drive us. Uh, he's only charging us half as much. <laughs> he's a nice guy. Yeah. Taking Highway 2 down and around the National Park from the west to the east side is actually a lovely drive. And there are several stops to take in some great views. Not to mention, just some of the views along the road are pretty awesome too. Mark taking the rough road rather than the easy road. So we made our way around on Highway 2 and arrived at Glacier Park Lodge. But we were too early to check in. So we then decided to stop and get sandwiches and head north to do a little more exploring. <laughs> Okay, here's kind of the little town now. So is this more east um, glacier. glacier proper? 
Well, yeah, well, this is yeah. Uh, this is all part of East Glacier. That's it. We're that's all part it. of East Glacier. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Oh my God. Now we're going to drive past two Medicine Lakes, which we'll actually visit and explore tomorrow. It is simply magical with the mountains, but that's tomorrow. He's dying to get ahead of me, I think, so good. <clears throat> Just gonna let him do it. We wanna pull over here? We'd be going the wrong way, but I think that's what yeah, it's, it's okay. I didn't see that. I was don't go the there, there we is. Let's take a look. That's a weird. Yep, yep. We're now leaving the Two Medicine Lake area, heading up past St. Mary Entrance, which is the main entrance on the east side of Glacier National Park, and that's where you have access to the Going to the Sun Road from the east side of Glacier Park. So we're driving up to Bab, and this is where we pick up the road that will lead us to Many Glacier Hotel. This is the road to Many Glacier Hotel, which is located inside the National Park. And it's about 11 miles of gravel road to the entry of the park. Oh boy, am I glad I'm not getting my Honda this dirty. One! So this is a park entrance, and not sure why, but nobody was there. So we just drove right through, although we did have our senior pass to get in for free. Many Glacier Hotel is situated on the shores of Swift Current Lake inside Glacier National Park. And this is a bridge that goes over the Swift Current Falls. Many Glacier Hotel is also called the Switzerland of North America. And you can kind of see why that is with the mountains and the lake. It was built by the Great Northern Railway in 1914 to 15. So it's been around a while. We tried to get into this lodge, but they only had one room available for when we wanted it. So, instead we're coming here, but they do have a restaurant we're going to order and uh, have our dinner here. This is the Many Glaciers uh, area, and you can see they have all kinds of hikes. Look at all these different lakes. Where are we? Actually, there we are, right here. It actually goes around, it's a natural falls that falls into that one. It kind of looks like a dam, but it's natural. Really beautiful. They're still under the COVID restrictions, so you cannot dine in. Ooh. Yeah, this looks like it'd be grand. So it's kind of a carryout, but people right. are kind of carrying out inside. It's a takeout and then find a place to actually sit. What are you looking for, Mark? Well, I don't have the hat on now, but I'm looking for my National Park, my Glacier National Park hat, and I hope it's as plain and as ordinary and an exact duplicate, but just the right words on it. So the suspense is going to be beginning right now. Sue, cue the music. Good luck. I think Mark's okay, going to get so lucky. I'm walking up to these hats and all of a sudden you're teasing me and telling me I might get lucky. Oh. Oh, 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 yeah, <laughs> I gotta yeah, get a hat. Oh, okay. Lucky. 
Happen, Sorry. Baby. Yeah. Oh my God. I noticed that you let your dogs out. That's right. Got to breathe. Get some sunshine. And how hard is it for you to resist going down in that water? Oh, I'll be going down there. You will? <laughs> I will, yes. Well, you better time this properly with uh, Paul's schedule of driving. <laughs> no, we're time. We're yeah. going to make time. Yeah, because when the bus leaves, the bus leaves. I'll be on the bus, don't worry. Let me see. I hope you stay close to shore, not too bad. So we're in Swift Lake in Glacier National Park. Glacier water, beautiful. There's the lodge we were just at. God, this is so picturesque, isn't it? Wow. As we're heading back to our lodge, we stopped in the St. Mary's area to check out where we'll enter to get onto the Going to the Sun Road in the morning. And it was about 5.15 p.m. at this time. We noticed a lot of cars that were going into the park. That's when we found out that after 5 o'clock, you don't need one of those special tickets to get onto the Going to the Sun Road. Good to know. And since we're there, we figured we may as well take advantage of this photo op moment. Nobody else is around. Even closer than I thought. Mm -hmm. No vacancy. Oh, no. I'm not surprised. But. Situated at the southeast corner outside of Glacier National Park is the Glacier Park Lodge, which was the first hotel built by the Great Northern Railway. And it's been the first stop on visitors' glacier vacations for decades. Inside the historic hotel, you're going to find Douglas fir logs that tower over the lobby. And instead of television, you're going to find beautiful mountain views. And instead of air conditioning, that's right, they do not have air conditioning. You'll breathe fresh Montana mountain air. You really can tell it's an old place when you start seeing the signs have not changed. So, you need some film? You can get it here. How about some cigarettes? right here at the corner. And like I said before, there is no air conditioning, no television, and no elevator. And those are the stairs. We had to go up three floors with ours being in the corner, somewhere back there. something to be said for staying in an RV and you don't have to bring all this stuff along but it is a beautiful place 44 steps no elevator 44 44 I Did counted you count them? them yeah oh, what I do you think more. somebody with my we're, physical we're ability on the, we're on the third floor <laughs> no elevator look at this place mark what come on back what Marco, please stop walking so far. Where, oh! Alright. Just stay there once a second. I want to show everybody what Sue brought up. Uh, my camera? Let me show you what Sue brought in. Why don't we turn around and. Sue, why don't you bring in your suitcase? It's already in there. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this is a pretty nice room. 
we are on the third floor you can see the beautiful lodge over there and this lodge is actually how old is it I don't want to say I think they, Paul, Paul I think they said it was built in 1910 so bathrooms how do you turn the light on oh there so we've got this old bathroom kind of squeezed it in a closet sort of thing yeah they said that they uh up here on the third floor it actually did have a community restroom and at some point they realized people didn't want to share their bathroom so we're hmm. glad for that all right sue i just noticed something what is there something wrong with our marriage <gasps> why why are you saying that well Michael. pretty obvious to me sue i mean come on <laughs> Are you implying that, like, I'm here and you're there, or I'm here or you're there? Aren't we supposed to be, we're here, or we're The here? luggage is there, oh, okay. Oh, I know go. what it is. Sleeping and luggage. luggage. All right, we're good. <laughs> well, it looks like the... Uh, Looks like the pool has got a little bit of an issue. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can find him, money. 121, we're late already. And we had dinner at the Great Northern Dining, which was absolutely delicious. We actually had breakfast there in the morning too. So this is our part one of our adventure in Glacier National Park. Stay tuned for part two. We're going to be going back to the Two Medicine area, which is really magical. And then we'll be driving on the Going to the Sun Road with all our little adventures and insights. Thanks for watching.